Deputy Leader Noreen Hammond from the 94th District. Um, as the Republican budgeteer, I'm concerned with the lack of interest in our Democrat county counterparts to bring us to the table. As a result, we have another partisan, one-sided budget. And from what we've seen and commented on so far, there's many reasons to be concerned for our future, the future of our state and our state's families. In our eyes, this isn't a budget that provides for the future of Illinois. There's numerous gimmicks, chief of which are burying the true cost and the timeline for the expanded health care program for the undocumented immigrants, expansions to the Medicaid omnibus, and the lack of accounting for the AFSCME contract costs that will all come due in FY24. We talked about the unexpected costs to HFS. They will be about a $1.1 billion hole. That includes a deferred $300 million in costs associated with the Medicaid Working Group Omnibus Bill by implementing changes halfway through the fiscal year. $550 million in funding for undocumented immigrants, which adds up to a $550 million shortfall compared to the estimate of $1.1 billion for the project, for the program. Governor Pritzker claimed that this funding hole was fixed in the agreed budget plan that he presented two, day, two days ago with his Democrat leaders. But clearly, the budget is being managed throughout the year with fabrications and schemes. It is undetermined how will, he will achieve a $550 million savings, and the taxpayers are expected to trust that he will. Let me be clear. This does not fully fund Medicaid for undocumented as required by current law. It presumes the governor submits emergency rules to curb the cost, but those savings are unknown. The tools to manage the cost within Medicaid have always been under the governor's purview with HFS. No new tools were needed to address these cost controls. However, it's understood that the Democrat lawmakers, they wanted some cover. And so they put it off on the governor and protected themselves from the fallout from the taxpayers. Once again, the Democrats are expanding taxpayer-funded programs that we can't afford, giving money to undocumented immigrants at the expense of obligations that we should be funding for our most vulnerable citizens. It's the Democrats who con created this out of control Medicaid program, but they refuse to fix it in statute. Instead, they push it off to the responsibility of the governor. It's not your money. It's not my money. It's not Republican money, and it's not Democrat money. It is the taxpayers' money of the state of Illinois, and they deserve better.